I don't know. I personally, I don't think she's gonna like enjoy him, so he's at the very bottom of the list. Okay. Up next, we have Austin. He's 25. He ain't no look like no 25 year old, but whatever. Um, he's from Mission Vio, Vio, California. He's a real estate investor. Um, and his bio highlight is he's truly searching for the Beyonce to his Jay-Z. Um, loves his white shoes, wants to get a few tattoos, and loves to tan at the beach. He just sounds like every 25-year-old man ever. Um, he didn't really strike me very much on the show, although he kind of looks like Austin Broom in italics, and I'm going to try not to hold that against him, but I don't really know. I feel like he's kind of just mellow, and like, he hasn't really made much of an impression yet, but thus, I've only watched one episode. Um, he might go kind of far, because he does seem like he'd be easy to get along with, but he's very, um, an average 25-year-old, in my opinion. Oh, okay. Up next, we have Brandon, 27, from Queens, New York. Um, he's an auto parts manager. Um, I remember he did get kicked off in the first episode. Um, but he looks like he's going to, like, break your heart. Because he has, like, this swoopy hair and everything. But we can read his little thing. Brandon hates extra orbitantly overpriced extraordinarily overpriced restaurants. Loves Japanese and Korean R and B. Loves to attend the occasional rave. Oh, see, he looks like he's gonna just hurt you and break your heart. Okay, and finds joy hitting the open road on a motorcycle. He's promising, but she didn't like him, so we'll move on. Oh my gosh, okay. Up next, we have Brendan, 26, from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. At least they finally put the, pro put the province in there. Sometimes they're just like, they're from Canada. And it's like, okay. Anyways, Brendan is a firefighter trainee. And his bio highlight is, Brendan hopes to take the love of his life swimming with sharks. Um, he loves tearing up the dance floor, really does not like vegetables, and plays goalie in a local hockey league. I'm biased about Brendan, okay, because he's a Canadian, but I remember, because they, like, show the little beginning, it's, like, little clips that some of them filmed previously, and I remember seeing this guy with a hockey stick, and before he even spoke, I was like, that guy's probably from Canada. He's just a typical hockey guy. He just really is. Like, he probably says the word chill. He probably calls the NHL the chill. And like, mom, can you sauce the peas? I have nothing against him. Because he's the type of guy that, like, I could literally go outside and find 12 of them, though. Um, I think she's gonna like him for a bit. But I'm not sure if it's gonna be, like, it. He is cute, though, in a very typical Canadian hockey kind of way. Let's move on. Up next, we have Christian, and I remember him because he was wearing this really cute green velvet suit, and I also really judge you on the suit you're wearing. Like, he made an impression because I remember that it was a green velvet. Okay, but Christian, he's 27. He's from Boston, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Matt. I'm Canadian, it doesn't matter if I can say Massachusetts. Um, and he's a real estate agent. His bio highlight, he's competitive and has fought in mixed martial arts bouts. Word, okay. Um, so he dreams of driving the Batmobile, loves parades, and rocked a faux in his younger days. He definitely looks like every little white boy that's ever had a faux hawk, and he just grew up. But I remember him being, like, interesting. However, um, however, he was kind of, it could have been editing, but he was, like, complaining right before the rose ceremony that he wasn't going to get a rose, and it was going to be, like, devastating. So he already 
think she could but we're gonna have to wait and see about that because I don't really remember too too much about him he didn't make an impression but I remember her, her giving him a hug and he said his name was David so I think he's gonna go a ways oh okay okay up next we have Gabriel 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 35 from Charlotte North Carolina and he's an entrepreneur his bio highlight says Gabriel doesn't understand the concept of athleisure and believes that people should respect elegant styles of the past. Oh, baby, athleisure is where it's at. Okay. Um, and then his favorite James Bond is Sean Connery. Really? Sean Connery? Okay. Um, doesn't like athleisure and plays tennis. You know, this is a shame because I quite liked his, like, first impression. He seemed really nice. I liked it, but he seems a little snobby now because he's a Sean Connery stan. I mean, there's nothing wrong with Sean Connery, but, like, the best James Bond. It's very up for debate. Bruce Brosman does exist. Um, athleisure, are you kidding me? Like, what do you have against athleisure? Like, obviously, don't wear it into the office every single day when you're a lawyer, but jeez. And he plays tennis, although I have, I have nothing against tennis. I actually started to get into it this past couple months. Um, I know that he did get a rose, but I don't think he's going to go far. He might make it to, like, the middle, but I don't think she's going to, um, like, his, like, preppiness or snobbiness, if we're going to be honest. But I do love a guy from North Carolina, but I'm not digging him anymore. Okay. Up next we have Garrett, 29, from Salinas, California, and he's a software marketing manager. His bio highlight is, um, Garrett is a YOLO type of guy. You can tell he's 29 because he still thinks YOLO is, like, an acceptable word to continue to say. Um, he hates tangy foods, wants to climb Mount Everest, and has a German shepherd named Archer. Why would you hate, why would you think a hating tangy food is a flex? Anyways, um, he seems like a cat, um, sort of, maybe, I don't know. I know Katie has a cat, so, like, having a German Shepherd named Archer maybe wouldn't... I mean, I think it says a lot about a couple when they agree on, like, cats or dogs, so that's already, like, a red flag for me. Um, I don't think he's gonna make it very far. Okay. Up next, we have Greg, 28, from Edison, New Jersey, and he's a marketing sales rep. Um, his bio highlight, Greg wants to travel the world with his wife before having kids, of which he says he wants to have at least six. Six kids, huh? Okay. Um, he dreams of seeing LeBron James play basketball in person, cries during movies, and biggest pet peeve is slow drivers. Okay, well, he just seems off-putting, but I do remember him, and he did get the first first impression rose. He seemed really sweet, and he gave her, like, um, his niece made a necklace made out of pasta, and he gave that to her, and it was, like, a cute moment, and he got, like, the, um, first impression rose. But I don't love what he's saying here. I mean, biggest pet peeve, really a slow driver. Babe, it's driving. It's not that deep. I don't know. I think he's gonna go really far, though. I think he is. I think he might even make it to, dare I say it, hometowns, um, and fantasy suites. I think he's in it for the long haul. So, go off, Greg. I'm, I'm not saying that based off his thing, because I did not like it. I don't like his, like, little blurb, but I liked him, so. Up next, we have Hunter. From Houston, Texas, and he's a software strategist. Um, his bio highlight is Hunter has never ridden a horse, but he really wants to. Really? Okay. You're just asking for a horse date, um, so he's never ridden a horse. Has a parakeet named Zazu. Okay, so he's a Disney guy. And his fave pastime is with people watching. Okay. I, he does, he likes people watching, I love people watching, highly, highly entertaining, um, I think he might go far, I remember him being a little bit of a complainer when, at the rose ceremony too, and I think he got like the last rose, and like, I was like sweating bullets, um, he kind of looks like he just, um, never outgrew the 90s, but I think she's gonna like him, and he's gonna go like pretty far, I don't, hometowns. I kind of doubt it, but we shall see. 
lives for good Italian food. He looks Italian um, and wishes he could be a CIA agent. Now, I remember him not getting a rose, but he did take her into like this camper Winnebago RV thing. Um, and she was just, you could tell she wasn't loving it because then like it got to her like monologue and she's like, he started eating celery sticks and like throwing his underwear around so they could like sit on the couch. So I guess that's all I have to say about Jeff, but he did seem like friendly. He just made some bad moves. Okay. Up next we have John, 27, from Pacific Beach, California. He's a bartender. And his bio highlight is, if you never heard of a kiwi berry, John wants you to Google them. Okay. It's intelligent, I believe, but he's only a bartender. Um, he's a vegetarian. He loves the smell of fireplaces and thinks swing dancing is so much fun. He looks really cute. He looks nice. I like him. I like him for her, too. I think they would make a really cute couple. I like him. I think he did a really good job with that. I think he's gonna go far-ish, but probably not till the end. Okay, up next we have Josh, 25, from Miami, Florida, and he's an IT consultant. And his bio highlight is Josh loves hard and says there is really no other way to put it. That's a bit of a red flag, in my opinion. Like, I don't like that. Um, hopes to travel to Asia one day has to sleep on the right side of the bed and starts celebrating Christmas in October. I remember him. I remember him and I don't like him and I think he's going to stay for a bit, but I don't think he's going to make it far. Um, he's just kind of giving me some bad vibes. But I hope he enjoys Asia one day. Um, yeah. Oh, I remember this guy, so... Up next, we have Justin, 26, from Baltimore. Is Baltimore in Maryland? Yeah, it is. Don't come for me, I'm a Canadian. Um, and he is an investment sales consultant. His bio is, he is also an extremely talented painter. I remember he did paint, like, this really cute rose thing. And he made this whole, like, thing about how there was, like, a, a space missing in the middle for Katie when the time was right, da 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 da. Um, he does not like to dance. His favorite artist of all time is Basquiat. Really, Basquiat? Really? You could choose anyone and you chose Basquiat. Okay. Um, and if he could be any superhero, he would be the Black Panther. For Katie, I like Justin, and I think he's gonna go, like, to the middle or a little farther as well. But I think that's about it for him. Um, he is a very talented painter. That is very true. He proved that. Okay, up next we have Carl, 34, from Miami, Florida, and he's a motivational speaker. I remember this guy, and I do not like him. Guy's got some freaky eyeballs, and I feel bad about saying it, but they freak me out. I'm sorry, Carl. Um, but his bio highlight is... Carl is the type of guy who will take you jet skiing on a date and then read you a poem he wrote himself. Um, he loves to play chess. His favorite holiday is New Year's Day. Speaks both English and French. I didn't like him. I didn't like his vibe. I don't think he's there for the right reasons, so that's, that's Carl. Um, Kyle, 27, from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and he's a technical recruiter. His bio highlight is Steve Irwin is Kyle's lifelong idol. If you're from Florida, I get that. I understand how the two would correlate. I love that. Okay. He hates mayo and mustard. Okay, same seas. Um, his favorite flower is an orchid. Expensive taste. And he would love to be able to fly so he can never have to sit in traffic again. You know what, Kyle? The only thing going against you right now for my vote is that your name is Kyle, but I can't hold that against you. Your parents named you Kyle, um, and he's cute. He is cute. Um, I think he's gonna go pretty far, unless he already got kicked off. I don't remember, but yeah, Kyle, I think he's got promise. Okay, up next we have Landon, 24. 
estate broker. His bio highlight is, when describing himself as a lover, Marcus says he is amazing. Okay. Um, he loves the Los Angeles Lakers. Okay. Okay. Um, would love to be Spider-Man for a day. And likes to have music playing at all times. He's cute. He has a cute little smile. I like him. He's cute. Um, I don't know if this is going to be the one. There's something about his smile, though. Um, but I think Katie's going to like him. Um, apart from the, uh, <laughs> when describing himself as a lover, um, that's a bit of a red flag, but sometimes you got to be cocky, so. Let's move on. Up next, we have Marty, 26, from Reno, Nevada, and he's a dancer. I think he got kicked off, and I remember him specifically because he had um, crystals in a baggie in his pocket, and he was showing them to her. Um, I think he did get kicked off already, but he has pretty blue eyes. Um, he is, his bio highlight says, Marty's self-declared tagline is, Marty brings the party. Um, he loves horseback riding, prefers to watch movies indoors, and the way into his heart is through a good bottle of cologne. I like, I like his little thing, but I don't think he's gonna make it far, and I do believe he was kicked off. Watch me just be completely wrong about everything I've said here. No big deal. Okay. Up next, we have Michael, 37, from Akron, Ohio, and he's a business owner. His bio highlight is, Michael is a single dad whose world revolves around his amazing four-year-old son, James. Um, he makes a mean plate of dino nuggies, prefers the mountains over the beach, and loves 90s R&B and rap music. I think he's gonna go far, and I do remember Katie talking to him, and she really enjoyed him. So I think he could go pretty far. Is he the one, though? I don't know. I feel like it's... I can never tell until, like, halfway through the season. If, but, yeah, let's move on. Okay, okay, okay. Up next, we have Mike, 31, from San Diego, California, and he's a gym owner. His bio highlight is when people find out that there's a great-looking guy who used to play professional baseball, they assume that he must be a player, but that could not be farther from the truth. He officially describes himself as basic. He does not like dessert, and his goal is to visit 100 countries. Now, this is the guy. I think this is the guy I was thinking about from the... I, the, I apologize to the last guy that was a pro, um, a pro or an ex-professional baseball player. I think that guy has promised... I, okay, I found the guy. This guy. I don't like him. I got bad vibes. But I apologize to the other guy that I thought was maybe this guy. They look similar-ish, maybe. Um, this guy, don't like. I think he's gonna make it far, but I don't like him. The other guy, I think he's gonna make it far too, and I hope that he has the best. I wish him the best. Okay. Up next, we have Courtney, 27. And I really like this guy's name. Um, it's Q-U-A-R-T-N-E-Y. Like quarter, like Courtney. I think that's super clever. Um, he's from Dallas, Texas, and he's a nutrition entrepreneur. His bio highlight says he loves to daydream about having a family. Um, he loves to country line dance. He's scuba diving is at the top of his bucket list. And his perfect night is a bonfire with s'mores, music, and dancing. I like him, and I think she liked him too. Um, he was cute and friendly. I like everything about him. I think he's gonna make it to the medium, like, halfway through though. Unless he got kicked off. I can't remember. But I did enjoy him. I remember him specifically because I really liked his name. <laughs> Bio highlight is ambition and thoughtfulness are two major turn-ons. 
Oh, he's cute. 